and welcome back to Culinary Quest. Okay, I've got uh, got some Tinker stuff. I've got some tools. Got some uh, some crummy wooden tools. Had to take my cool sunglasses off. I found a helmet. I found some sweet pants. So <laughs> reduced vision while invisible. Oh, sweet. That's interesting. So yeah, I went back and uh, I waited until whatever that horrible thing was in that little treasure thingy despawn and I went back and I got uh, there was some string there was some coal so I've made a uh, I made a frying pan <laughs> that's a very satisfying noise let's uh, put the coal in the frying pan uh, let's see I've uh, I've actually I, I went around gathering up some more stuff some more food um, so let's start making some recipes shall we start with the basic baked potato please let this not be a fire hazard I mean, I'm, I'm in a houseboat, but <laughs> that could be bad. Let's see, is there anything else in here I can cook? Asparagus I can cook. This, this is going to take a while, so uh, while we're waiting, I'll just... Uh, <sighs> what I meant to do in this series. <sighs> That's okay. I actually found a couple of loaves of bread in that treasure thing too, but I kind of needed to eat those rather than put them in the museum because I was going to starve. Which is another reason I made all these tools and stuff. So I could put some food in my face instead of just putting it in the museum. So. Yoo-hoo, fish. You know, I think the pirates were uh, pulling my leg about, oh, that's not what I wanted. I can't eat that. About those uh, things down there, because when I look at them, they've got the little green paw print on the damage indicator. That's That tells me they're neutral, that they won't hurt me. So, maybe uh, maybe they are good to eat, though. So, we'll uh, at some point go harpoon one. And, um... You who fish. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. There's a fish for the fish room, and I can always catch more later. All right, grilled asparagus, baked potato. Awesome. All right. Oop. Now, there's some cows and stuff around, too, so I'm going to get the first meat for the museum. Uh, sorry, cows, but uh, yeah. Okay. Now I did go through. I, I don't know if you saw the uh, the cooking with Sarah finale. Originally, the museum was full of item frames. Well, you know, some idiot, whoever built that museum, whatever dummy built that museum, did not realize that item frames are entities. So that was slowing my game down. Something fierce. So I went through and replaced them all with the uh, bibliocraft cases. And it's it's still a little little slow, but it's much better. Okay, I'm gonna leave these guys alone for now because I saw some cows over here. Let's see, that's a fig. I've already I think that's a fig or a plum. Either way, I've already got it. I, there they are. There's the cows. Okay, guys, sorry, but uh, I need your meat. There we go. Yeah, I'll get one more. Okay. That's a ground garden. Uh, you know what? I need uh, some dye. Need some food coloring. Oh, 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 there's something growing over here. What's this? Wheat! Uh, I don't have any bone meal on me. Uh, wheat, wheat. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I got nothing. Okay, I'll have to come back for that. It's a weird noise. That's a stock garden. That's a grass garden. That might have wheat in it. It does not. It's got stuff I already got in it. That's okay. I need to do some cooking. What I need to do is do some digging and some mining. Yo. So I can start building some, uh, or building, 
crafting some fine cookware. Okay. Now these things have the green paw print. Uh, apparently they're made out of vegetables. And they don't fight back. Okay. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Ah, raw aerosaur meat. Is it really meat, though? Stunningly good to eat raw. Well, I've got enough of it. Why don't I just, um... I'm not hungry right now. Okay. But that's, uh, that's good to know. It's, apparently it's a vegetable. But it's classified as meat in the museum, so, yeah. All right. Let's just, uh, head... Let's see. I'm... Yeah, I'm not going to, um do all the stocking of the museum on camera, but we are going to put these first couple of actual recipes and this first fish away. And let me just uh, turn that into dye. And we'll put that away too. And I'll show you once I get in there. I've, I've actually been doing a little bit of stocking off camera. So we've... Uh, there we go. Okay. we go. Yeah, I, I keep looking at the first floor and thinking, well, this isn't going to be so bad. And then I remember, I've got two more floors to fill. So, let's see. Um, at this point, I think I'm going to need to start uh, working on getting some stone and some tools and some uh, a furnace and some cookware. I don't know why. I just took that one grass block. Oh, uh, herb garden. Ah! I never noticed that. Ah, I thought those were just flowers. Well, here, give me all that. Give me all of that. What all I get? Spice leaves. Ah, the elusive spice leaf. Garlic, celery, uh, coffee beans. Yes, mustard seeds, ginger, tea leaves. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, folks. Well, I am gonna go and um, do a little, do some work here. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, there's only one sheep, though. Do I really want to? I, I'm going to have to. Did you get... Oh, it didn't even give me any mutton. Oh. Oh, no. Well, folks, I am going to go and uh, cook some of this stuff up. And get some stone and stuff. And hopefully start making some cookware. So I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Yeah, that thing. That's a lucky block. Now, I personally have had really good luck with lucky blocks.